welcome to the BLE podcast. My name is Dom, and our host for today's podcast is podcast student lead Cindy Lou. Hi, and thank you for doing. Well, thanks for being here. And um, I don't know why I feel a little nervous. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been doing it for a while, but anyway. Um, um so what I, what we're going to be talking about is traditions, birthdays, and those type of things. So, what what type of traditions does your family have? It could be small things from going to like red flags every year or like it's mostly I think the smaller things matter you remember them the most so what does your family do um every new year's my um mom and I um will count down and then we'll, we'll have like a mini like a miniature family party but like every new year's I've always spent it with my mom that's like our little tradition like, well, sometimes we'll go on different trips and separate for a little bit. But New Year's, we're always together. That's really nice. I know New, Year, New Year's is coming up, so. Yeah, my, yeah, my, my dad, he is an Australian. So on New Year's Eve, wait, can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Okay. Because on New Year's Eve, we have a dessert called Sticky Date Pudding. And we and it's really a fun tradition because every New Year's Eve, we go and we're like, Mom, Sticky Date Pudding. And she's like, oh, yeah, you got to make that. So do you know how to make it or do you only like make it with your mom, like helping her? Well, I don't know how to make it. Like, I don't, don't really make it with her either, but I just know we do it. Is it good? It is amazing. I love it. That's awesome. Um, Sometimes my grandma, she like, she'll bake cookies for me. If we just so happen to have cookie dough in the fridge, she'll bake cookies. And let me tell you, them are some good cookies. We'll get some milk. Sometimes we'll get a little ice cream. We'll put a hot cookie with the ice cream and a glass of milk. That's like the best thing ever. And that's like, I just love it when, when she gets to bake fresh cookies. Anyone else? I'll go. Um, every uh, Christmas, um, me and my uh, family, well, I mean, specifically me, um, my mom, my sister, we have gluten-free cinnamon rolls because we're all allergic to gluten. So we make separate batch for my dad and then just one for all of us. And we always open the stocking stuffers first before the regular pre presents. So it can build suspense to the big ones. I like that. I mean, and the gluten-free cinnamon rolls, I bet they're amazing, too, so. Cinnamon rolls awesome. are just awesome in general. Agreed. You can't really go wrong with a cinnamon roll. Yeah, but. Yeah, um, I think, like, any like, dessert on, like, any Christmas or anything like that, I think that all, like, kind of is a tradition for my family, because, like, we all try to get something a different year, but usually it's usually the same, because, I don't know, I feel like my family and me don't really like change, but I think That's just okay. having, like, yeah, I think like just any dessert, I think we have tried have been um, something. The only thing that we've tried to do tradition that didn't work was a gingerbread house. We would always try to make one, but it would always fall apart. So that was a failed tradition. Well, you're still making it. It's like Exactly. Still, still working on it. Oh, is there any? Yeah. Kind of sucks. I remember. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I was saying you were trying to say something. Oh, um, I remember one Christmas, um, I had, um, like, these, this aunt and uncle. Their, name was, their names were Linda and Paul. And Paul was actually a music teacher, and he would teach, like, college students. So he knew how to play, like, a bunch of instruments, piano, trumpet, and he even had, like, a big drum set in, like, this big soundproof room. And I would just love to go in there, but my mom would always yell at me, no, don't bother him, don't go in there. But um, I remember one Christmas, Christmas, one Christmas, I went and my my grandma came and she flew from Massachusetts to California. 
and um, we built like this gingerbread mansion. <laughs> it was huge. And then like, I ended up like eating the chimney. And then like my, my mom, she came downstairs like one late night and she was like, did you eat that? I'm like, but you could like see all the frosting and gumdrops all over my face. And she's like, I know you ate that. And then my grandma was like, no, no, no. I said he could. I said he could. I said he could. But I just, I just love Christmas. Christmas is awesome. Um, But because my uncles and my family is like, you know, far away, they're in Massachusetts. They, um, they sent my, my Christmas gift in the mail. So whenever it comes, I'm just going to open it right away. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try to wait, but I mean, let me just open up my casual Christmas. I, I mean, package that came in the mail unannounced has my name on it just have to check what it is it's nice that they send you things too for Christmas. but um on that topic is there any other like not only Christmas since I know not everyone celebrates Christmas is there anything else that they celebrate during this time period uh I know it's it's just Christmas I don't do anything else could go um I usually or my mom usually made stuff like during this time but this year I'm gonna try to surprise my parents by making like a dish or something I usually do it for them but like it, it's kind of new to me so I'm gonna try to make cook I've made cookies I don't know yeah um <laughs> Yeah, for me, I just celebrate Christmas. That's really. Mm-hmm. I think we have a lot of Christmas here. Um, well, I got oh, one yeah. I want to throw out there too. Mm-hmm. So, um, I have a holiday tradition that's a little different. So, um, I'm the youngest in my family, and there's five of us, five siblings. I'm the youngest. Well, me and my twin brother, and what me and my brother Jason have done for the past six years, uh, we gather. Um, toys all year long and then we go into the heart of victorville and we give them away in december so we've been this is our sixth year and we are really excited that we have 100 toys and we're going to go out to the heart of victorville next week and we're going to give away 100 toys to people no strings attached i don't need any information i just want to brighten the holidays so that's one we always do it's a lot of fun i enjoy doing it even when it's like super cold out and whatnot and raining um it's still such a it's such a joy to be able to do it so that's something we do oh that's very nice and i know like they have toy drives and those things that matter and do you just just give them to them we do we gather them throughout the year um i go to a lot of comic conventions so we just buy random stuff and we collect it all so we're going to be giving away just a bunch of cool things. And I know that it's hard, you know, growing up when I was a kid, it was hard. Like we didn't have money for, you know, Christmas presents all the time. We got lucky if we got a present and that was it. Sometimes there was a year we didn't have a tree. So I know how hard it can be. And that's why we started it. It started with uh, 14 gifts. We gave away 14 gifts the first year. And we've just been growing and growing ever since. Uh, last year, we actually partnered up with an organization out here and we collected donations this year it's just the two of us and we felt very honored to be able to do it to have it all ready to get it all ready we are getting gift bags donated and we're just gonna brighten up the holidays people i know it'll make a big difference in them and the kids lives especially with the parents too they'll be very grateful for that as well and um oh sorry i don't know if you can hear my siblings in the background but um I see now some of the some of the podcast members want to go to Victorville. Yep, it's well, it's happening next week. Um, so yeah, if you are in the area, feel free. We do we do it every time. So if so, I'll see you there. You know, I'll try to find my Christmas hat, which I couldn't find today. But um, yeah, I'm hard to miss. So. Well, talking about presents, we're moving to our next topic about birthdays. So does anyone have any birthday traditions that they like to share or what they usually do? 
Um, um, wait. Oh, you can go. For me, uh, it's I don't really open up my presents till like seven o'clock because even though it's my birthday, my dad still has to go to work. So when he comes home and stuff, then I would love just watching him come home and see all the balloons just hitting the door to come inside and it's it's nice seeing i got like three to four bags full of stuff and all that stuff and then i always get like brownies and ice cream and all that good stuff that's super cool and i love that you know like the tradition is waiting for your dad and being able to celebrate it after work and everything that's fantastic man that's awesome thank you um wait can i go so for me, I don't really have a tradition. So my birthday is in August. It's it's on August 5th. My sister's birthday is the last day of June. So our birthdays are pretty close. So it's, this is not really a tradition, but what we like to do is we like to celebrate our birthday on the same time. And uh, sometimes, I mean, we don't really have a tradition. We just like get the presents. We open the presents, yay. But yeah, we're both like... We both celebrate Christmas, not Christmas, we both celebrate a birthday on the same day. But sometimes, since we're super busy, we have to celebrate our birthday really, really late. And I mean, like, really late. We, we celebrate my birthday, which is in August. We celebrate it on January. That's late. <laughs> yeah, but it, it happens. It happens. I have I have celebrated my birthday the same day as my brother because his birthday is actually two days after mine. So when we went we went to a water park with a hotel and for two days we were there to celebrate both of our birthdays. That sounds very awesome. Yeah, and I know. I'm trying to think of birthdays. I celebrate my birthday once two times a year. Oh, it was um. I celebrated at home and then I celebrated at my grandma's house that was two times so but, um I don't know my birthday I feel like I just get older so <laughs> I think so and um so what I do well what I did last year was um well I have my birthday next year but my parents just gave me like like they instead of presents they gave me money so what I did with that was um I I bought presents for my sisters instead I don't I don't like to buy the things for myself so whenever they do that I just buy it for my sisters and they were really happy though so that really made me happy so that was good oh also builder bear really love builder bear I am I'm already 16 but I still love builder bear and going there and making one that's awesome And I see Tilly also likes them too. <laughs> so I'm not alone. Um, what about, does anyone have a place that they usually go for their birthday? Like a grandmother's house or or do they just celebrate at their house? I just I I go on my birthday are usually, well, I honestly, the last place I remember going would be Sky though. Uh, but for me, yeah, it's different every time, but it's never a house. It's always like a, a, a amusement park or something like that it's, it's never a house um, I guess I can say this but so when I was like one on my first birthday <laughs> this is a little bit embarrassing but um, I used to really love Elmo okay don't ask me why but I, I just really liked Elmo <laughs> so my um we had an Elmo themed birthday party my family came over some of my friends not my friends but just just family and uh, um my dad sorry, stop my dad <laughs> he dressed up as a Elmo <laughs> and, he, and I don't know I forgot what he was doing but he just dressed up as an Elmo and I was like and I was just like oh, it's Elmo or something I don't you really remember hmm? you were too I was, wait, sorry, I was two. This was my second birthday, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. Nothing wrong with Elmo. Nothing wrong with Elmo. I mean, personally, I've dressed up as Oscar the Grouch a few times, so I'm more of an Oscar the Grouch guy myself. But, oh, I'll jump in. Um, growing up, 
you know, a tr- I have, had a twin brother, so it was really hard for both of us to agree on things on what we want to do for our birthday because we're very different. Um, so that was always a struggle. Even the cake, like he likes all that like ugly custard stuff and all that, and I don't. So um, it was always a struggle there. But um, you know, now that got my own family, married, um, my wife's made it a really good point that we go out to Wrightwood um, for my birthday and we go out to one of their awesome restaurants and just spend the night out there in the mountains and it's a great tradition i absolutely love it i love going out there i love the cold uh, my birthday is on september 23rd so it's the first day of fall sometimes um so the weather's usually pretty nice but yeah i mean i grew up not really doing anything really for birthdays even as a young adult i worked that's it i never took my birthday off just work 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 so it feels nice to you know take time and do that yeah, yeah. Like- that's pretty cool because the weather yeah my birthday's on mm-hmm. single to my May 5th so I wish usually like we always try to go like to a water park or something but sometimes the weather just doesn't work on May 5th like, it's randomly one time we went to Region Waters last year and it just became it like started getting super gloomy right when we got there so I feel like one of the best things to have on your birthday is like September or like October because it's pretty accurate for the weather. Yeah, I agree. I don't really know if this is a tradition or not, but ever since, I mean, up until I was probably seven, we always had a bouncy house in our backyard for my birthday. And it was summer, so it was always really hot because if in the mountains, it's cold, really cold, but then it gets really, really hot. So it was super hot. Yeah, so we just had a bouncy house until like I was seven. So that's a tradition, absolutely. That's super cool. Yeah, um, I, we have this like business for bouncy houses, so like we rent them and all that to people, which is pretty cool. And every time I've been in them in the summer, like when you touch like the inside with like no socks on, it's like probably the hottest thing in the world. It's it always I, I try never to go into jumpers in the summer unless it's like a water type of theme, I guess, but. Yeah, and whenever that whenever like my birthday is hot, I try not to have a jumper because it's so hot. Those and the straps, those hurts. Oh yeah, water slides and jumpers. And I oh well, Angelina, do you want to go after? I just want to say one thing about um when I was um I think eight years old. I had my birthday. My birthday's in the summer. We had a water slide never again um i am um, i got bit by a wasp a wasp went like into my dress and um stayed there for a while and just was stinging me so that's a memorable birthday that's a tradition yeah <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a horrible tradition um i, I don't want to celebrate my birthday outside anymore so oh uh, but um angeline did you have angelina did you have something to say uh, I actually have two traditions. So um, every time, so when I I have like um, a Hispanic culture, so every time a girl turns fifteen, we throw a big, big, huge party. So um, I'm kind of waiting for my sister. She's gonna turn fifteen soon, so hopefully she's gonna get one. I didn't get one, but because it was during COVID. But yeah, I I celebrated with my family in the, in the house. But another tradition I have is um, my mom doesn't celebrate our birthday when it comes to 12 a.m. She actually waits for the time we were born, and then she sings happy birthday to us. So those are just two traditions I have. Oh, that's so cool. So, I mean, it sucks if you were born at like 2 in the morning, and then she's going to come and wake you up. And say, but it makes total sense. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, if we kind of have a tradition like that, except... Well, yeah, it's like that, except I'm lucky because my birthday is, like, morning, 9 o'clock-ish. So I'm eating breakfast, my last breakfast, as a whatever-year-old. And then, and then lunch, I mean, like, first lunch of, as a whatever-year-old. That's super cool. Now, cause, like, we're talking about, like, what time you've been born. Since I've always had to wait till, like, 6 or, or 7 until I get my presents and stuff, it would be funny if my if I was actually born near seven o'clock. 
that would be cool. Yeah, I think like opening your presents at like night, just like it, everyone's there to like see it. So like you always like have the like spotlight. I feel like as like a kid, I always like like that for some reason. And like my actual time is seven thirty. So like when I like first asked my mom that because I thought it was like so cool at the time, I always try to like wait until that time. It was actually like kind of cool because I always think I was like the coolest kid on the cat in the. In the Yeah. That um. Oh, for me. Oh, you can. Oh no, I. You can go. Yeah, I'll go after you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what we would do is like my dad. He would have this giant trash bag, and whenever I would open a present, I would always like throw the wrapping paper in the bag, and I'd be like, "Oh my!" And uh, and I would try to make it, and like if I missed, I would try again, and I would just throw it. But the point is, is that we had to make sure that all the trash was in the trash bag. So, like, we would pick up any extra wrapping paper that didn't go in the trash bag. So, like, after opening my presents, like, yay, it's 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 time to clean the wrapping paper. <laughs> yeah, I this is not really a tradition, but on my birthday or Christmas or whenever you really get presents, um. What my brother does is he pretends he's a trash can. So he pre- he makes a big circle with his arms and pretends to be a trash can. And I put the trash in his the hole in his arms. But then he just dumps it all out and says, try again. <laughs> trash can won't accept trash. That's what kind of what we do. Um, what I've done, I don't know, for, for me, this was always a tradition because I was born like at midnight or something, but <laughs> I didn't stay up. I always slept early like I was supposed to, but uh, I'm probably going to stay up until like 12, one o'clock, um, it's going to be my first time staying up uh, that late uh, and I never done it. Uh, so, and plus I'm going to get braces. So that's a whole new decade for me because as you know me, or I don't know if people know me as um, not going to the dentist and stuff because that used to be my worst fear so i'm finally getting over some things and yeah sometimes i don't like to be on spotlights and such (laughs) um it kind of makes me nervous Uh, my hands sweat and (laughs) i usually play around um yeah um yeah, that's all I wanted to say. She's like, it's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> well, I see in the chat we were talking about ways to save bags as well, like for gift bags. I, yeah, haven't, for- I haven't saved a bag one time in my life. We just buy more and more. Oh, you can re-gift them. So if someone gives you a bag, a gift bag, you can reuse it to give it to them, maybe. That's what my family does. Like, I literally, I give my aunt, like, something, and she gives me back, like, the same bag. But she gives it to me. But you um, know, they use it again over again, so. One, uh, one thing I do for, like, birthdays and stuff, uh, well, not for my own birthday, but with other people's birthday, instead of, like, buying them a card and putting my name in it uh, i actually i make them i get a blank envelope and a blank card and then just make it from, make it from there nice. I, I, I also do that it's really nice when you do that because it shows like so much more effort that you put into it and i i usually make cards um they turn out awesome at the end <laughs> but I I'm I'm now perfect at drawing stuff or close enough, but there's always new things to learn about art. And yeah, I usually draw each time I take it to my friends and stuff. They they get they get impressed. (laughs) 
go. Yeah, it's kind of good to be proud of something that you've done. Or it is yeah. definitely like um, whenever there's presents. Um, since my mom saves the actual like wrap the bags, but I I like to think of it as in even though it's not my birthday or it's not Christmas and I'm not getting the presents, we're technically getting a present of free bags. This is true. This is um, true. does anyone like here have like a themed birthday party? Usually, and like always have like a homemade cake, and like they have to make like a certain theme to the cake, or no? Never. Oh well. <laughs> Every one of my birthdays <laughs> was a theme. I mean that that's 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 my tradition. I mean, my mom always makes a very decorative cake, and then and we have a, a certain themed birthday party, like Batman, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, basketball. Um, I don't really remember the themes that much, but it. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why we're weekly. So. Like one year, thing. like one year for my birthday, I'm like, Mom, I need, I need um, a ballerina theme, and then she'd be like, Okay, and then next year, Mom, I need a ballerina theme. You did that last year. So I never could think of any themes to do. Well, you could. It's fine to reuse the same thing. I mean, you're still into it, so it'll be pretty, and like how you want it. Um, oh, uh, talking about cake. My sister, her birthday last year, I made her two cakes, and then my aunt and uncle, they bought her two cakes, so she has four cakes for her birthday. So, we had a lot of cakes that um didn't get eaten also, so because we had, oh, I see their top. Well, someone had it as Christine, and another one had it as Dora. Um, because I have a large family and such, we usually split the cake. At the end of like the party when everyone's leaving, we usually split it up into like few parts and the people take it with them. So less cake is with us. I think that that would be a good idea on um, if you had a um, like bunch of like parties and stuff that would be a good idea on doing like separating the cake while you're we yeah i think oh go ahead okay thanks um yeah we when we do family parties since all my rel all my relatives almost all my relatives live where i live we do some family dinners a lot so Every time we do them, someone makes a cake for all of us, and then they only eat like a week. We only eat a little bit of the cake, and then my mom and my my family we always take home the cake, and we always eat all of the cake. Well, it's nice, like when you get to take over leftovers. Or... And oh. oh yeah, I like to bake, but mostly during the summer, and then. Like my parents hate it because like I get the house completely hot and then I don't bake during the winter. <laughs> I have so much time more during the summer to bake compared to like during the school year itself. I can't blame them. Yeah, like bake in the winter, warm the house. Yeah, I haven't baked since summer. I made like a million cakes. <laughs> and I see we are running out of time. So, does anyone have anything else they would like to say? Uh yeah so um I I go I go a lot of places for other people's birthday and they're almost as nice as my own birthday the the only difference is I don't get presents out there so but so actually but sometimes I do but like they're like little thanks for coming bags instead of actual presents so they just come like a, with a bunch of candy and maybe like a, some plastic thing but yeah mm, like I think like. They're called party favors, I think. Yeah. Like party favors are good guy. And uh, one thing, another, since I, I just talked about like going somewhere for other person, for other people's birthday, I'm actually doing another a get together on Tuesday next Tuesday for my grandmother. So That's awesome. I'll be, I'll be doing a lot of things this this month. I've already done one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your birthday is coming up. 
I know we had a few birthdays coming up, but it has been. Mine's in February, so I have to wait like three months <laughs> for <laughs> to get. Yeah, my friends. Oh, um, um, my yeah, friend I mean, is um. And she's gonna. I'm gonna probably give her like a BTS something because she she always talks about them. So Korean <laughs> or something. I'm not sure yet, but something related to what she listens to or yeah, like what she likes. Mm. Oh yeah, having the same birthday. I don't know. I had a friend a long time ago. We had the same birthday. So, but the way we compared it is like our time difference of like when we were born. So, I think she was born in the night and I was born in the morning. And so, that's how we. Uh, it's cool when you have you share like a friend who has the same birthday as you. Your age. But um, since we are running a time, I wasn't sure. I had this idea running through my brain throughout the entire episode. We could try to sing happy birthday. Because it could be someone's happy, it could be someone's birthday while they're watching the podcast. That's so, true, and everybody can experience this. Yeah, I think everyone deserves to experience. It. Okay, is everyone ready? Wait, what are we doing? Singing happy birthday to everybody who might have a birthday who's watching the podcast. I'm ready. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. It is. Let's do it. Because every time I leave, it's just how terrible. We go out of sync. Go for it, Zindu. You got this. Oh, I always have to. I don't, this is why it turns out terrible. Okay. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, 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 birthday. Everyone, 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 Thank you for already watching watch. today's episode. Head over to Elite's YouTube channel to check out past episodes and seasons, and subscribe to get the notifications on the latest episodes. Thanks. All right. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye.